All right, hello everyone. We are going to be setting up here for hole number nine here, and I'm going to set up a globe again. Um, if you guys saw my drive yesterday, I was way over the green, so I'm just going to try to find some balance here because I've been way over once and I've been way short once. Well, not way short, but I had a nice little pitch. It would have been a wedge. And uh, I also had one that just completely just went way over. So it looks like here the wind's going to be a little bit more tame. So we're probably going to try to play a little bit more wind and, uh, you know, top spin it here. Um, I don't recommend bringing. Uh, you know, Thor to the uh, Thor or extra mile to this hole in Masters. If you're going to, you know, try a hook shot, even if you have a real low level apocalypse, that's going to do much better off than either of those two options. Here you see I got right around 16 wind. I try to crank up the top spin a little bit, put it at about three. And uh, in terms of a landing zone, I'm, you know, looking more towards the base of this shadow here as my reference point. And you can see it's angled to the right slightly, so you see me cheating in just a bit. But in terms of, you know, how many rings I'm going to go, I go about 3 point, that was probably about 3.2 targets. Let's see what this looks like. Ah, oh, not quite enough. So disappointing. We're not going to get a good effort at this one today. I was just a little light with my adjustment. I was worried about that wind being angled the way it was, but I think it has more to do about it being. Uh, you know, I should have, I should have cheated a little bit more. Right, it didn't quite carry as far as it's been. So I think that has more to do with what happened there than anything. As I've been in the 16s, I've been in the 17s, and had I had that much wind, it would have carried farther, and it would have probably been more left center there in terms of a landing zone. So it not carrying far enough is kind of what shot it out to the left for me there. But at the very least, Hopefully I can, you know, walk through the pitch here for you guys. And one of the things that I do want to mention, well, first off, we're in the power here. So you need to keep that in mind for your ring adjustment. But also, in addition to that, um, you know, if you usually play max at... Uh, 1.5 per ring, that's not even going to get you close when you're in power on a uh, globe. So let's just try to go 15 rings here. Let's see what that looks like. If I would usually go probably about 11, now I'm going 15. And there you have it. So no harm, no foul. I make a mistake off the tee and I'm still able to... Uh, you know, salvage it. Hopefully you guys can, uh, you know, at least if you make a similar mistake, get a nice reference point to still get that hole. And you guys will be good to go. Um, this concludes our guide. So good luck out there with your guys' rounds. Let me know how it goes. And uh, I'll see you guys next tournament. So, um... Yeah, yeah, I wish you guys all the best. And, uh, you know, keep me updated. If you post your scorecards on, you know, Legends, or if you're an Elite, might as well. You know, if you're happy with your score, just, you know, feel free to post them. I, f I feel like, for the most part, that's what, you know, the social media is kind of for. It's more of, you know, those positive reinforcers as opposed to you know calling people out stuff like that so 
if, if you're happy with what you shot, then, you know, feel free to post and share and all that good stuff. So, um, you know, keep, keep an eye out for uh, my future guides. I, I still have expert that I'm going to do another revision for as well. So, you know, be on the lookout for that and uh, take care, guys. See ya.